My first Fender guitar was an American Stratocaster in black. Very just elegant. That was the grail to me. It's a sound people hear. It's a sound you've heard on records. It's become what you think an electric guitar sounds like and it's imprinted in the soundtrack of your life. The instrument is the sum of its parts, which is greater than just the components being put together. It's a system to awaken and inspire the creativity of making and playing music. Fender's got a very interesting history. It goes back over 75 years. Leo Fender was a radio repairman in California. He started working on some amplifiers, making lap steels, and then in time decided to start making solid body electric guitars. What's interesting is that it's kind of right at the time that music is changing. There's a lot going on in this factory. We make electric guitars and basses here. We make amplifiers here. The world famous custom shop is here. But beyond the technology, we continue to hand shape, hand craft the way that we've always done it. All right, we're going right here. Leo to Leo, the modular process with lumber. We have the two pieces of wood, a one and three quarter inch body, a one inch neck, and it goes into a five eighths inch pocket in the blank. We began processing it for manufacturing and bringing it down to specification. Again, one inch, one and three quarter. The neck and the body run down different processes. So we turn the neck over, it does the back shape. When you remove that much material on the back of the neck, it tends to move a whole lot, so we have to let it stabilize a little bit before moving on to the actual installation of the truss rod. What it is is a reinforcement we're able to adjust under different humidity, temperature changes. After it's installed, we'll fill it with a quarter inch piece of walnut in the back to give it a more decorative look, if you will. Following the three belt sander that establishes the radius on top of the guitar, we move it to what's called a gang saw. And the gang saw cuts all the fret slots at one time. Every fender neck is unique, but that's because it's done by craftsmen and the human element, and it starts right here. It's a succession of sanding processes as they prepare them for the finish and paint. The bodies must be sanded flat to get the irregularities out of the top of it. Very early on, there were custom colors that were being made and those have become iconic and popular. They were all pulled from the cars of the 50s and 60s. Here's the area where we pair it with the neck. We have the neck. The two go together just like that. And now we bring them over here. We just give it a once over, a visual. We turn it over and make it sure it's good to go into the case with the value added material, instruction manual, wrenches to adjust the truss rod, the bridge parts, etc. We pack it in the case, into the carton. It goes on the pallet, off its way to the warehouse. We all play and we're all guitarists and it's really important because we think of things from a player's point of view. This goes back to the beginning of Fender and its origin story is always how do we make it better, easier to play, sound different, introduce a new sound that people haven't heard before. There is a design language that we adhere to. It's not cosmetic, it's, it's really tonal. We make our art so people can make their art. And that music is really the skeleton key that Fender has.